أما أنا أروح الزيارة على الشام بس صارت بحالتين يوم توفى الوالد والوالدة بس إمكانيات بس بحالات الوفاة يعني يسمحوا لنا يعني كانوا متوفيين له شهرين تقريبا لرحت أنا We're driving to a village in the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights. It's called Majd al-Shams, and everyone who lives here is Druze, one of Israel's religious minorities. We're here with Brick. He's a Druze uh, hey. from the city of Majd al-Shams, uh, here in the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights. And one of the consequences of uh, Israel coming here after the war with Syria is that uh, the Druze have been split off from villages uh, that are left over in Syria that are also Druze. He's going to tell us what life is like here since the civil war started inside Syria and how that has made it even harder for Druze people to communicate uh, with their uh, cousins and family on the other side of the fence. So I just grab it. Yeah. It's a pretty big village. How many people live here? They're pretty much like a 10,000 people mm -hmm. lives around here. Pretty it's, much everyone is Druze? Yeah, everybody is Druze. Yeah. Everybody. There's no other religion people here. Mm -hmm. There's only Druze. And Majd al Shams is the biggest village between the Golan Heights villages. Got it. And as you can see, all the mountains right over there, you yeah. can see the road, that's the Syria. I mean, we can go over there and see the border. It's right next to the houses. There's the houses and there's the border of the Syria. Until recently, it was easier to pass back and forth across the border. Dozens of residents of Majd al-Shams studied in Damascus, and it was normal for local men to marry Syrian women. But war and a new fence has stopped that completely. Nabik and Hanan met while studying at a university in Damascus. She was from there, he was from here. Back in 1998, they were married on the border, along with nine other couples. So this is the ceremony for crossing the border. <laughs> You're crying. I'm <laughs> نحن جينا أكثر من عروس جينا تسعة هي أنا وأمي هون نبيه وأهله بيكونوا عم يستنوا على الجنب الثاني يعني I am, uh, and my the side. She never thought it would be so hard to return So uh, have you been able to see your parents since you left? إيه إمكانيات بس بحالات الوفاة يعني يسمحوا لنا توفى والدتي و والدي بس كنا نطلع عن طريق الأردن طبعا هن يجوا على الأردن نحن نروح نلتقي أما أنا أروح الزيارة على الشام بس صارت بحالتين يوم توفى الوالد والوالدي بس يعني سمحوا لنا ومو دغري يسمحوا يعني هم طبعا يعني يوم والدي ضلتني شهر وعشرين يوم لعطوني الموافقة والدتي ضلتني شهر وشوي كمان أكثر لا رحت يعني كانوا متوفيين له شهرين تقريبا لا رحت أنا أيه وبيعطوا مدة قليلة يعني ثمانية وأربعين ساعة عطوني يوم توالدتي Who's the soldier with the Syrian flag in the picture? This <laughs> Does she ever regret um, coming to uh, the Golan Heights? هي تعتبر تجربة كتير حلوة لأي بنت إنه تيجي لهون أو أو تنتقل من بيئة لبيئة يعني بس القضية الشوق الحنين يعني هي اللي كتير بت بترجعني شوي لهون كافي مش إنه أندم لا طبعا بعد ما أنا صار عندي ولادي وبيتي وصار في إلي هون يعني أسرة يعني تحس إنه لا في شيء بيربطني هون بس قضية الحنين ال الأهل يعني بضل بضل شوقك للأهل يعني ما فيك تعدى 
What do you think about uh, this new fence that the government built here? Do you think it's necessary? It's a real thing. We don't know what they did. We don't know what they did. We always dream that the situation is how it is. 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 We go and go and go. أنا كثير بتمنى إنه أهلي يجوا لعندي يشوفوا بيتي مثلا يزوروني هون بس بس كان حلمنا البسيط إنه يضل يضل طريقنا نحن لعنده. I think they got someone. إيه شيء 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 إيه شيء إيه حافظ ليش؟ ليش؟ ريموت. We know there are many weapons. and determined people on the other side. If they decided they wanted to fight against us, they can do it. We know that we are on their list of enemies. It's a problem.